Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to another True Crime Tuesday. I hope you're all staying safe and well, maintaining social distancing, washing your hands, all that jazz. Today's case is a little shorter, but I think it's fun and I wanted to talk about it. So here we are. It regards Canada's first ever political assassination. I know. So let's get into it. Thomas Darcy McGee, editor, politician, poet. He was born in Carlingfound County, Ireland on April 13th in 1825. He was assassinated in Ottawa, Canada. So that's where the story is coming. On April 7th, 1868. He emigrated from Ireland to the United States at only 17. Soon after his arrival in Providence, Rhode Island, he gave an inspired speech on the repeal of a union between England and Ireland. His perceived insight brought him an offer of employment on the Boston Pilot newspaper. His editorials and other contributions to the newspaper, along with public addresses, gained him great attention. Uh, his writings and speeches were considered to be inspired utterances of an exiled Irishman. With journalist experience under his belt he went back to Dublin and became part of the editorial staff for the Freeman's Journal. His advocacy and advanced ideas for the Young Ireland Party caused him to leave this position as an editor and he took a position for Charles Gavin Duffy's Nation. Um, and with this many of his like poems and speeches were printed in the later revolutionary episodes of 1848. He was one of the most active leaders. Uh, being the secretary for the Irish Confederation, he was arrested and imprisoned for a little while. His imprisonment was the result of an unwise speech. This is when the government began to suppress movement and remove leaders. McGee, like this guy, he didn't really like what he was seeing and escaped to the US again disguised as a priest. In New York, he started a paper called The Nation. He got into trouble with Bishop Hughes over his violent revolutionary ideas and like his thoughts against priesthood, um, specifically priesthood in relation to Irish politics. He changed the name of the paper to the American Celt and moved to Boston, then moved to Buffalo, and then again back to New York. In 1857, he settled in Montreal and he started another paper, this one called The New Era. He entered into politics and was elected into Canadian Parliament. His ability as a speaker put him in the front rank. Like, he was a very good speaker. He changed the tenor of politics. He changed the tenor of his political views and as he advanced he also advocated British supremacy and it's said that he did this as loyally as he did in his youth. An interesting note, the confederation of the British colonies in North America as the Dominion of Canada was due largely to his initiative. In the change of his political ideas he constantly attacked the revolutionary organizations of like his fellow countrymen and this made him very obnoxious to them. This is what led to his assassination by who was what was described as an overwrought fanatic. Thomas McGee, one of the signers of the BNA, a father of confederation, was hit by a single bullet while walking to his home in Ottawa. The Fenians, I think that's how you say it, they were instantly suspected because they advocated for their Irish independence and McGee was one of their strongest critics. No conspiracy was ever proven, however, but a young Irish tailor, Patrick James Whalen, was accused for the killing and he was hanged in 1869. And that's the story of Thomas McGee. Again, I know this is a shorter one. I thought it'd be fun to talk about it. I was just reading through various cases and some Canadian history and this popped up and it's been on my mind. So here we are. Uh, let me know what you wanna see next as always. I talk about True Crime on Tuesday and Supernatural Things on Saturday. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Follow all of my amazing social media. I've been really trying to get on that, trying to learn new platforms. I've never been on Twitter before. I've never been on TikTok. 
is a lot. So please follow, give me a like, whatever the platform thing is. I'm also on Patreon now. Um, I'm also learning that. I have no idea what it is, but please check it out. Link is in the description. Yeah, that's what I have for you folks today. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.